hi guys good morning how are you welcome to my channel if you're new welcome do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as the little bell so you'll get a notification every time i post a new video so in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys around the room with me and showing you guys my cleaning routine and i just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the products i like to use and how i like to clean my room on a daily basis and just get it ready to go um, i don't like to leave the house with a dirty room so I'm just showing you guys my room for today I'm not doing a full house clean so I just wanted to show you guys just my room for today I'm not even going to show you guys how I clean my bathroom this is just going to be my room so if you guys are interested in seeing an in-depth room clean then please keep watching so starting off, I'm going to start with my linen. So I'm going to move my comforters out of the way. These are really thick, so it's like a huge process getting these washed and dried. But I'm going to start with my linen. So I'm working with my fitted sheet here and my pillowcases. So I have pets that like to constantly be in the bed, so I try to keep these washed once or twice a week. Uh, especially my pillowcases here, I'm really big into skincare, so this is of course where you lay your face. Um, and because I do also have allergies, I use All Free and Clear. It's just the brand that I like to use, but I do stick with the Free and Clear, as you guys will see when I make my way down to the wash machine. Uh, this is free of fragrances and dye, so I highly recommend this if you have sensitive skin, if you have allergies, or anything like that. So I do have um, sensitive skin, like I said, I have eczema. And I do have allergies so I recommend anything that is not going to irritate the skin or anything that is going to aggravate your allergies so I cannot use highly scented laundry detergent because you know that lingers in your clothes and items after they've been washed and dried So I like to use these multi-purpose cleaning wipes for a variety of things, but today I'm going to show you guys how I clean my ceiling fan with them. So I leave my ceiling fan going all the time, so I like to keep it wiped down at least once a week because the blades will collect dust just from air particles and dust particles that are flying around in the air, um, especially if you have carpet. So it's definitely a good idea to keep your ceiling fan blades in particular wiped down if you suffer from allergies. So right now I'm just going through and vacuuming which I like to do every day especially because I do have carpet so if you have carpet and you have allergies it's really good to vacuum every day. So I have a shark vacuum um, and it does really good at really getting stuff out of the carpet fibers so anytime you are looking for a vacuum really look at the specifications and make sure that it is going to suit your needs um, and it's really going to help with what you are looking for.
so next I'm going in with my farmhouse furniture wax this is a really nice polish for your furniture it has a really nice soft clean scent so I'm going in now just to dust off my IKEA vanity so I'm gonna dust off the top and then I'm gonna move all of my acrylic makeup storage shelves or just like little storage containers out of the way just to make sure I can dust behind there and then usually about once a month or so I'll take my makeup literally out of every acrylic container and I will wash all of the acrylic and just to make sure that it's nice and clean and get all the makeup off of it that might be stuck on there for whatever reason. So I also like to fold my clothes, of course, because your girl has got to find things to wear. So while my linen is still washing and drying, I go through and fold up my clothes. So I got all of my clothes that were already clean and I brought them up and made sure that I folded those. And then of course, while I'm folding, I sort them out and put them into their own little unique piles. I'd like to give my room a nice once over with some spray this is sugared cinnamon from pier one just to give my room a nice smell so now that my linen is finished I am putting my fitted sheet back on so yes everybody knows the struggle So now we have nice, fresh, crisp linen and pillowcases back on the bed and I'm going to make up my bed and of course it looks so good. I just want to sit down and get on my computer and of course I would be doing nothing but schoolwork. Alright guys, so this was a look inside how I like to clean my room. So for the most part, what you guys saw is what I do on a daily basis. So I like to make up my bed before I leave. I like to vacuum my floor. So when it comes down to more of the detailed things like standing up to clean my ceiling fan or washing my linen or even sometimes moving all of my things from my vanity to dust. I don't do that every day. It just is usually about once a week. And I like to do that um, because I do have allergies and I do have a dog. So especially with the linen, I try to do that once or even twice a week, especially if you have a pet and the pet likes to be in the bed with you. Um, my dog is a hypoallergenic breed, but I do like to try to cut down on allergens and when he goes outside to go potty and then come back in. Um, you just never really know like what's on their skin and he likes to get in the bed and like rumble around in the covers and things like that. So it's really good to keep the linen clean, especially the pillowcases because that's where you lay your face at. And then with the ceiling fan, I try to at least do that once a week because it's circling around, it's picking up dust particles, and then that's just constantly going around in the air. So I try to do that to cut down on the allergen because here in my townhouse, I do have carpet. So of course, I also vacuum every day to try to reduce the allergen component there. So that's what I do uh, for my room clean. So if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comment section and I can do more of these cleaning style videos. I can um, incorporate my bathroom or even more of a 
broader clean with me video for like my kitchen or my living room or whatever the case may be. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section. And as always, if you guys have not subscribed, make sure you do that on your way out. It is the big red button. And then click the little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!